inaugural National Say No to Sammy Hagar Day Invitational Disc Golf Tournament. It's really windy out. It's really windy outside. Tournament ever. Oh hell no win. Like. After hole one, me and Simon are on par, and Steve is two over, but no one's gonna par hole two, so yeah. Uh, it was a really rough first hole, really windy. Pretty sure Sammy Hagar <laughs> decided to sabotage my efforts, <laughs> but uh, it's totally fair, I'll get him back. Let's go get him back. I don't even know why we're filming hole two, no one's gonna have a good drive, because you can't have a good drive, because it's hole two. No, I'll just mark it. I'll hold two. Get off with the dick. Wow, that was a thing of air. Yeah. Just how good she is. Oh, shit. Aiming right at me? Aiming right at me? Yeah, she treats me like she loves me and she never makes me cry. I'm gonna stay. After hole two, me and Simon are both one over. And Steve is four over. He's gonna have a comeback, though. If I could just have a little. There was a downward column there. We all hit that. And we all hit. But, and but then my second shot, the wind decided to fuck me again. Oh, that's a good choice because it's the only overstable disc you have. And I mean, I think you're gonna like that more than where you were yesterday. Yeah, this is a good arcade. The orange one I found in the street somewhere. Yeah. Uh, that better come back. <laughs> Oh, it's coming back. You're right by Simon. For sure. For sure. And just like it, you know. Another kiss. That's how to come back. Come back a little bit. There we go. You're gonna love that. Simon's in the lead at one over. I'm at two over. Missed the putt, and Steve's at five over. I can't putt either. Steve's gonna attempt a hammer on this hole over this stuff. I had a pretty nice forehand. I think I'm gonna be in par position. We'll see what happens here. That just failed. That got caught by the wind because you hammered a mid-range in the wind. That was that was smart. You know, I decided to try and play risky. Risky, I risky. I would you say? Risky, I would risky. say risky, risky. I, and there's my disc on the sand. On the sand! Dude, I must almost ace that. Look at that. Because it came in from the left, there's the forehand, and it's to the right. Like, that must have been so dang close. Okay, so Simon's back in the lead with one over. He's not too hard bad. I missed it. Pretty easy putt. So I'm at two over. And Steve's at seven. We got Davy Jones. Coming on hole six. How many roads must a man walk down? Okay, so I'm on hole nine now. Simon's still at one over, I'm still at two over. Um, Steve is at seven. Seven over. All I've never done is false sense of security. For sure. Okay. Holes down there. Simon's right there. This might be where I catch up. Me and Simon are tied at three after a pretty crazy hole nine. And and here we are with Michael, the fourth ten. Had a pretty good drive here yesterday. See if he can repeat the success. Oh, look at that church. Off in the woods, man. Jump, Simon, he's throwing. He's having a good drive. As you can see, Back Michael's like to play with the high voltage style. <laughs> Simon landed in the middle of the fairway and rolled into the wood. Way to film my hat. High voltage. We're all off in the woods. Awesome. Awesome. I am, I am at five over. Simon's winning with four over. Steve's at nine. Straight on doozy here. Eleven. And he's the ground. Here comes Marco. Good.
I got my beast in the bush. God damn it. You can see the sky. Yes, how many years yeah, baby. must one man out before Stop we can get people cry? Simon went in the woods and I could basically reach the basket from my drive. We just switched scores. I'm at, I'm at four. He's at five. Over. Steve threw in the woods like three times or something like that. I don't even know where he's at. He's at ten. But here we are at the Plinko hole, so let's see what this has in store. I believe I have the tea, so everybody's there. Kind of off into the right, can't really see it, it's well camouflaged. Only when it counts. See, so he's playing it nice and safe, I actually have to, I mean, that's in the, that's in the fairway. Or he's going to have a really nice drive. Right down. Everybody did indeed get pars again on this hole, so still me at four, Simon five, um, Steve ten. Doing okay now. And he's over with Simon. But it looks like that won't matter. I am at least in the open, so I can't <laughs> I can't complain. I'm in face. The face of a second place disc golf player. And here's Brian. Oh, and yet another walk of shame. Home. Nice drive. And, he and here's Steve. Steve is also in the woods. Steve is way in the woods. If me and Simon both make these putts, uh, we're going to be tied again at um, five. Five. So, five over. It's okay. You can still come back. In two holes, you need to come back 14 points. Yeah, dude, 17 is like oh, like less than half the distance it usually is. So we're tied at five. This is this could be a deciding hole here. Um, are we gonna are we gonna do the tea game? Yeah, let's go to the AMT. Go to the AMT for the tea game. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Throw your disc upside down and try to get it on the tee. One disc. <laughs> I usually try to skip it back onto the. <laughs> Simon is feeling right now like a like a bunch of pancakes. Good show. Simon are tied in the lead. Last time we were like this, Simon lost his disc in the woods and had to forfeit. So that'll probably happen to me this time. But we're on the infamous hole 18. It's way down there. Look at the wind! Look at the wind! Look at that sign! Look at the wind today! Look at the wind! Look at that! 